This video is the last one of the day for me. It's actually the sixth video that I've done today. Um, oh my God, I have done six videos within like a matter of time, like a couple hours. I mean, make sure my volume is on and stuff, you know. And yeah, so I decided I would do this one last because I think for this one, I'm gonna definitely have to put more work into it, meaning I'm gonna have to layer it. I'm going to have to curl it, like style it, you know. All that like jazzy stuff. I've already pre-tweezed the hairline. It's actually a lace frontal that I made using hair from Today Only Hair. Like, never heard of a website called Today Only, but Today Only you will be getting hair from there. So they sent me um, four bundles of super long straight hair. I think it was like 28, 28, 26, 26 inches, and the frontal was 20 inches, okay? So I ended up only using like three and a half bundles I think I will definitely post the info below for you guys to know how many I use but I'm not really like a huge fan of it because it's thin now with straight hair I always have to do like extra and use extra because straight hair is so thin to me and for this one I didn't really sew the track so close so I made myself like a 150 percent percent 150 percent density wig um, but as it gets really, really long at the end, it just gets thin, and I'm not really like a huge fan of that. So I'm going to um, see how it looks once I curl it. If I don't like it like that, then I'm just going to um, trim it. Um, it is shedding. I don't really know why, but it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I did bleach the knots in the frontal has nothing to do with that I just think because it's straight hair I'm not like the hugest fan of straight hair but you know it is what it is so for the remainder of this video we're gonna go ahead and do this silently I did put two combs in the back and I did put an adjustable strap excuse me not an adjustable strap an elastic band I didn't put any combs in the front because I don't wear combs in the front anymore only because you know my edges have fell out they still on their way back. You know, they had took like this really long hiatus, vacation, hiatus. So, you know, they'll be back soon yeah. though. You guys know the stuff that I use to um, hold, adhere my wig down, but I will definitely mention it in this tutorial. So, let's do this. All right, love, so we're gonna go ahead and put this wig on that your girl made. I'm gonna be honest and say I have gotten really good at doing these lace frontals, you know, because in the beginning it was like a task. One wig came out really great, then one would be super tight. Um, so I think like when you get used to making one particular unit like closures, you get to be like a one trick pony. And I really wasn't trying to be that way because I do know that the frontals you can just do a lot of different things with. So you gotta basically find your own technique and I have finally found that. But but the one thing that I do want to perfect is the cap. I do want to try to find like other caps that work better besides like the dome spandex cap. So the next unit that I'm making is definitely going to be on a different type of cap. I will say that the bleaching of the knots came out really great in this unit. The hair is super long, but you know, it's still really nice hair. It's silky soft. It's straight, it's very lustrous, and it was easy to bleach. I used the 30 Developer Bleach. Along with that, I used the Salon Care um, bleaching powder in the color blue um, for darker hair. And I left it on probably for like 20 minutes. And that was just about it. None of the bleach seeped through to the hair, which was great. And I know that probably looks like a balding patch right there in the closure. I mean, excuse me, in the frontal, but it's actually not. It's just the way the hair is parted. Um, but it did come out good. I didn't scalp it. I didn't bald it. I was so happy with myself. But it does shed. Like, I noticed that with straight hair, whenever I make a straight hair wig, it always sheds, like, more than body wave, than loose wave, than curly. It always sheds. And if I'm not bugging out and anybody else has noticed that please leave a comment below but I do notice that along with that I also notice that when you do straight hair you need more bundles and I wish I would have sold the tracks a lot closer in this unit because I would have put more bundles in it but for the most part it looks really really good it is a little bit big in the back because of the cap that I used was the spandex dome cap 
in a size extra large because that's all I had on hand. But um, yeah, for the most part, it did come out really good though. So we're gonna go ahead and style this. So you guys know I love to use mousse. I don't use glue or gel. I mean, I do use those, but to adhere my wigs, I'd use mousse and hairspray. I use Pump It Up hairspray, which is a super hold one. And I use this daily. I don't have to remove my wigs though. I'm, I could leave the same wig on for a week without having to remove it. All I do is put on a scarf at night and then in the morning time, I'll just add a little bit more mousse and a little bit more hairspray and then just put the scarf back on and the wig is tight all day. I mean, like seriously, all day long. So I've worn a wig like that for a week. So the mousse that I use is from the Dollar Tree. Nothing spectacular. You can get any type of mousse you want, but this one works for me. So I'm not trying to spend like four or five dollars on no mousse. You know what I'm saying? So I take the mousse and I just apply it to the size, the entire size perimeter of the unit, as you guys see right here. And I'm just going to take my hair clips and I'm just going to put some baby hairs in this unit just a little bit. Um, not too many because a girl don't like too many. Um, I know in my last video that I posted, those baby hairs were super thick. That's because the hairline of that wig was super thick. Even after me pre-tweezing it, it was still like super duper thick. So yeah, I don't really, I mean, I keep saying I don't like baby hairs. I like them, but not too many of them. Like I don't like them to be overdone. But I will say the one side um, baby hairs hairs that I do prefer is the part that I just did right here which is the sideburns like I do like to have the sideburns because I just like the hair by my ears and also it helps um, lay the wig flatter if you understand what I'm saying like it holds the wig down it's like an ear flap but made of hair so I do prefer that to be like the thickest out of all the baby hairs uh, and the longest because it's just like a sideburn for me um and that's what I do I just take the mousse like you guys see right here and I just apply it I also apply it to the roots of the hair and I'll push the hair back you need to make sure to push the hair back so that way it lays a lot flatter once you put the scarf on and that way you'll see the actual lace in it. If you don't push the hair and lay the hair back, then you're not going to see the lace and it's going to look a little thick. And you just take your eyebrow trimmers like I have or your razor comb, whichever you feel more comfortable with, and you just trim your baby hairs. I would prefer using these opposed to a comb, or not excuse me, a comb, but a pair of scissors because scissors give you a blunt cut and with the razors, you don't get that. So you can buy these from a Dollar Tree. They come three and a pack for a dollar which is way better than buying from the beauty supply store because they're a dollar each so I just use these to trim away my baby hairs and then I'll go back and I'll put some more mousse because this is the part where I'm going to sculpt them I like to sculpt them with the baby hair um, I like to sculpt the hairs the baby hairs with the mousse because it's just a lot better than using gel you don't want all that gel and I'll go in with the hairspray the reason why I don't use the gel and the glue all the time is because it makes a mess of your wig your lace wigs it makes a mess of it you have to constantly clean it and sometimes that can destroy your lace so with using mousse and hairspray all you have to do is just brush it off with either a, a dry toothbrush or with a dry washcloth it just comes right off on the lace you know what I'm saying you're not in there scrubbing and tearing away at the lace to get it out now the best part is the pump it up this is a need you have to have this you can't go out and buy no Dollar Tree hairspray you have to have the pump it up hairspray because the pump it up hairspray works like glue like this is the best hairspray on the market I swear by this I've been using this forever like for years um, I'm not really sure why everybody likes the got to be blasting freeze like it's okay but I've used that years and years ago too and it just never held my hair in place so I'm not like a huge fan of it but the pump it up girl hunty will have your hair laid to the gods like for real now I'm gonna go put my favorite scarf on that I always lay my hair down with you know the scarves that have all the gunk and junk on it like the hairspray the mousse the gel yes and you need to wash it but you don't want to because it's all nice and stiff that's this one and I'm just going to take my barrel curler and kind of like dry some of that mousse kind of like laid in so it can melt into the lace you can use a blow dryer too or you could just go around with the head scarf for a few extra moments and i'm gonna then go ahead and brush this hair out because it is going to be time for styling this this is some long ass hair but i still like it it's really pretty but it's just really long for me and i don't really do the long hair 
so yeah not for me so I'm gonna take my barrel curler and I'm just gonna twist the hair around you know the just always do this one and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see all of this so we're gonna skip right to that part and we're gonna get to the finished look y'all so here we go once you remove your scarf you want to pull it downwards just that way you don't disturb any of the hairs you want to make sure to pull it downwards and this is what I'm talking about on the sides when I said you want to make sure you push the hair back. So I wasn't really pushing the hair back. I was kind of like just brushing it, but you have to brush it. You want to make sure that you brush the hair back. And I wasn't brushing it all the way back. I kind of got a little bit lazy, so it made it look thick on the sides, to make the hairline look thick, which is actually not. So now that I'm brushing it back and I'm pushing it up with the um, barrel curler, you can see that the hair is thinner right there. You know, you want to make sure that the hot curl is not too hot because you see I am burning myself. And um, <laughs> you want to make sure that the hair is pushed back so that way you are able to see scalpage. And underneath, I do underneath there because I do like some height and volume to the front of my hair, as you guys can see. So that is the reason why I put the flat iron or the curler barrel right there. So that way I can give myself kind of like some height and volume and hump. So you guys, I hope you like this finished look. The hair came out extra pretty. I do like it. It's long. The bleaching was perfect. You know, the hair is silky smooth. Um, it did shed, but you know, it all sheds, especially straight. So yes, I'm gonna let y'all get into the rest of this look. So that way we get to the end of the video. <laughs> really really nice it is super duper long I think it's 28 inches something like that so this is really long I mean this is what I was talking about towards the end that it's kind of like like um, thinner at the ends right here um, versus it really being full I always like the bottoms to be full you know and especially especially just because I'm just like really funny like that but for it to be a custom made lace front by your girl, I think I did a damn good job. Now the only issue I'll be having is this part be too big in the back. So it does have combs, but that's the reason why I put the elastic band. Um, I just got to work on that a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to just use a different cap because I don't really like those caps. You know what I mean? The cap that I used actually was a bigger cap, was a bigger dome cap. It was extra large. So that was like probably the reason why. But you guys seen what I used for this video and how to style it. So yes, you guys, it did shed. It was shedding. You know, that's how it goes with straight hair. I always notice that straight hair sheds so much. But um, for the most part, I didn't bald it. I didn't thin out the daggone frontal you know what i'm saying i bleached the knots and it came out super duper cute okay so i'm saying hunties is she slaying like she's this is like really bomb ass so definitely check out today only um i think it was an aliexpress store i can't really remember but i'll definitely post all of their information below for you guys let me know what you think of this unit it's super duper long so you know by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be already on my website um, and gone. But if you are interested in a custom-made unit by me, you can always check out my website, gonewiththewindwigs.webly.com, where I have like a majority of my units there, which are video units, which I just like wear for like 10 minutes review. And then there's custom units that are brand new that I make. And then there's also ones that you can send me the hair and I can make for you. So, you guys, I love you. Stay diva and divalicious. I'm glad I'm done. This was the sixth video that I did today. And I am done. And look, she is tight. Not going nowhere with just some styling mousse and some hairspray. Okay. So, I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with everybody. Let you know all of the info will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys on a scene to come video.